Citizen. Thank you. Let your applause and adoration die off like it's a... Uh, oh. <laughs> Don't know if anybody noticed, you know I've been coming out here for years, I come up, I hit the side of the camera and it goes bang, there's a big bang noise, right? Like, I... <laughs> <laughs> what the hell happened to my bang? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, I just do it quietly now. <laughs> I like to bang quietly <laughs> in the evening. <laughs> yes, apparently I still like to. You've lost your bang? <laughs> it's like a children's story, isn't it? <laughs> the creepy old douche who lost his bang. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, never mind. It's still a great day for America, everybody. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yeah, it is. It is because uh, President Obama unveiled his 2012 campaign slogan today. It's simply the word forward. <laughs> no, that's not, that's it, really. Forward. I don't know if they're doing that with their hands. They might. Forward. <laughs> Historians say this is the first time a sitting president has used a one-word slogan since 1996, when Bill Clinton used the word, mm hmm. <laughs> I feel very distressed about my bang not working. I'm still not over it. Anyway, I, never, I had a fantastic weekend. I was doing the stand-up comedy at the Pacific, up the Pacific Northwest. That's not code. I was up the... Uh, <laughs> I was in uh, Portland, Oregon. I loved it there. It's so relaxed. The city motto is, whatever, dude. <laughs> Everyone leans slightly... Actually, they lean slightly to the left. They, uh, <laughs> But they, they say a lot, there's a lot of hipsters up there. But I'm like, what, what is a hipster? Because I'm into Doctor Who, I like vinyl records. I'm a Gryffindor. Does that make, <laughs> does that make me a, hip, a hipster or more of a dox, a, a dorkster, maybe a dorkster? <laughs> Only the sorting hat knows for sure. <laughs> or maybe I'm just a creepy old douche. <laughs> a creepy old douche with a silent bang. <laughs> Anyway, I went to a great diner in Portland, uh, very old school. It was uh, uh, the original Hot Cakes and Steakhouse. I was confused at first because of the name, Hot Cakes and Steak. <laughs> that was the name of the boy band I was in in the 80s with Mario Lopez. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He was Hot Cake, I was Steak. Do we have a picture of the boy band, me and Mario? Yeah! <laughs> Hot Cakes and Steak, come on! You remember us? Let me see it again. Hot Cakes and Steak. Yeah, what was we had our big single was Butter Me Up Amigo. <laughs> yeah, Butter Me Up Amigo, that was it, yeah. <laughs> butter Me Up Amigo, my bang is silent. <laughs> anyway, I'm talking about uh, this diner in Portland. I you know I was there quite late at night because it was a show, I was working on a show, so I went quite late and there were a lot of other patrons there about 2 a.m. and they seemed hungry. <laughs> I don't want to say people in Oregon smoke a lot of weed, but the state bird is the iguana. <laughs> this is true, though. The city of Portland got its name in a coin flip. In 1845, the people found in the city flipped a point. A point. Yeah. A point's an old word for coin. Was, Do you have one of those points? And they flipped a point, and it came up heads. And so it was named after the winner's hometown of Portland and Maine. The guy who lost was so ashamed, he took the next covered wagon back to his hometown of Asflaps, Tennessee. <laughs> uh, I know this is junk, but we enjoy it, don't we? You know what Portland has a lot of microbreweries? I think they're like regular breweries, except they only serve midgets. Now, I don't drink. 
But I'm going back there in June because they have an annual nude bike ride. And I've, owned, I've always wanted to ride a bike in the nude. It's dangerous, though. Dangerous. You need a big helmet. <laughs> For safety. Anyway, after, after Portland, I, I drove up to Seattle. It felt great driving along the open road with the top down. I didn't have a convertible. I just drive with my shirt off. <laughs> I'm still finding bugs in my chest here. <laughs> Do we have a map of the route I took up? Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, thanks. Why? Wait. Two questions. One, why does the map explode into confetti? <laughs> and two, why is my eye always drawn to the person who hated it most? <laughs> like, right after it, I looked over there and I saw a girl going... <sighs> I'm like, I know it's junk, we're doing our best! <laughs> Anyway, when I, when I was going up there, I passed through the town of uh, Corvallis, uh, the home of the Oregon State Beavers. That's the team name. You can Google it. They play great football. Other teams can't wait to come to Corvallis and play with the Beavers. <laughs> you know, interestingly, applause begun in Lesbian Row there. Did you see that? Anyway. Seattle, Seattle was fantastic. It reminds me of San Francisco, except in Seattle, when it rains, it rains actual water instead of men. But I went to the... I went to the Space Needle. Uh, you know, the, the, the Space Needle in Seattle, and the sign says... Uh, they had this sign, you can go in the VIP line for an extra eight bucks. I thought, ooh, the VIPs will get snacks, binoculars, the legal right to throw regular peas over the side. <laughs> but you don't. All you get is your picture taken first. <laughs> Like, you know the thing where they take your picture next to a picture of the Space Needle? <laughs> you get, that's the line you get to the head of, and that's it. <laughs> Eight extra bucks for that? I'm like, that's a rip-off! <laughs> However, the Space Needle itself was very cool. Very cool. <laughs> I'm from another country, that's how we pronounce it. It was very cool. It was built in 1962, the year I was born. Now, the Space Needle and I are very different, of course. One's a big phallic symbol that people pay money to get their picture taken with. <laughs> Wait for it. And the other one is? Space Needle. Yeah. See, that worked out. That worked out. Didn't it work? That was awesome. Yeah, I think it worked rather well. Have you ever been to Seattle? I rather missed you this oh, weekend. Oh, yeah, no, I've, I've got a place there. In Seattle, really? Oh, yeah, you should have called me. I could have uh, got you the hookups there at the Needle. <laughs> well, I see, I thought the Space Needle... Uh, the Space Needle itself was great. I just thought there was a little bit of jiggery-pokery going on with the VIP line thing. An extra eight bucks and nothing. Yeah, eight bucks. How many points is that? <laughs> Man. I'm just speaking your lingo, man. I'm just, what the hell? No, you, I mean, on, you're coming man. after me. No, you're coming here, after man. me. I'm here for you, man. Yeah, you're here for me. You're here for you. <laughs> you're here for you. There's one person you care about, and that's Jeff Peterson, gay robot skeleton of TV. <laughs> Butter me up, amigo. Did you like that song? I love that song. Oh, it's a good song. I'm more proud of that song. Butter, Butter me up, amigo. <laughs> Butter me up. And we go... To the store. <laughs> and then I love the next part. It was a oh, yeah. white or rye, you're my kind of guy. Yeah. Think about that. White or rye. <laughs> you're my kind of guy. Hey man, I didn't oh, write it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I think we have a hit on our head. Oh yeah. All right, do the thing. Sure. We'll be right back with more robot and the creepy old doucheter who lost his bang after this.